Sports, powered by Slipstream Autosports. We host Daniel and Alex, and this is, of course, the F1 debrief, the Hungarian Grand Prix review. And uh, oh boy, Alex, what a race weekend, man. Um, if you caught our LTM yeah. show, you would know what we're on about. Uh, Alex, far away. I'm yeah, I'm angry. You. I'm <laughs> angry. <laughs> Just like all the drivers were. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That's my man. That's it. <laughs> Unless I'm Lewis Hamilton, then I'm pretty chilled. It's not too bad. Yeah, he was really relaxed this weekend, especially after Max Verstappen crashed into him. Um, I think we worked out on the OTM podcast that Hamilton, both Ferraris, and maybe Yuki Tsunoda were the only drivers not angry. Yeah, true. Although Yuki is always angry <laughs> sometimes too. Uh, Bryce here says, true. it was a great race, no drama. No drama whatsoever, mate. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Today's, um, oh, today's opposite day for Burroughs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, for that supercar calendar from before, I think that was on Everyone Motorsport. Oh, yeah, I'm part of that Facebook group, so I'll have a look at that after. Um, but, uh, yeah, wow. Um, first off, fantastic. Oscar Piastri, first feature race win. Of course, he won the sprint race last year, uh, I think, in Qatar. But uh, it doesn't feel special, does it? It's very, very sour. No. Um, if you don't know what we're talking about, watch the highlights, because basically it all started nice and well, right? It started well. Lando was leading. Sorry, not Lando. Oh, my God. Um, Oscar Piastri no. was leading uh, for about 43 yep. laps or so, I believe. Uh, yep. McLaren were are looking at a 1-2 finish at the time, but they decided to pit Lando Norris in P2 first before Oscar, and then that Which put them in a really awful position. Exactly. Yeah, that's what you called in our watch along. I was um, actually, can I just say real, real quick for the viewers, for the listeners and the live people watching. For everyone. I called absolutely everything this week. I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> I called Mostert's winning in the VS cars and then the watch along that I called that Lando is going to overtake Oscar and cause drama. And yeah, this week I just feel good. That's, that's all I want to say. That's probably the only good thing about this weekend for Formula One, at least. Um, but yeah, well, what? Yeah, McLaren well, shot themselves in the foot. Um, see, like we kept saying in the in the watch along, um, it was had nothing to do with the drivers. Oscar did nothing wrong. Lando maybe could have given the position earlier, but then again, he was put in that position from the team. He did nothing wrong. Um, that he team, and then they gaslit him into giving that position back, um, which was just shocking. Uh, so I literally threatened him with, you're not going to win the championship without Oscar. I was like, what is happening? This is not right. Why are you saying these things over the radio? Exactly. It's just also, by the way, can I kind of say yeah. if Lando were ever to go up to Max Verstappen and be like, so how do you win the championship? He goes, just do it yourself. Just win every race. Because that's all Max has done the last couple of years. He has well, no teammate. We said it on our LTM show. Constructors, yes. Yeah, constructors, yeah. Um, we said it on our LTM show last night, uh, which is now live on Spotify if you want to check that out. Um, Alec, uh, Ivan asked us, right, if, if we were in Lando's yeah. position, what we would do. We both agreed that we no would just keep going. No way in hell. We wouldn't give the position back. No way in hell. Hmm. Lando just gave up, is it seven or eight? Seven valuable points so he's he's well, we'll skip a bit well he's 76 <laughs> points behind max yeah all right he would have been 69 points behind and like just that <laughs> but it makes it makes a difference because Absolutely. as we saw in 2021 you know a championship can be side can be decided by one position and so i did some editing that's what determined the that's oh so. If you're watching on YouTube, det- you will know what I'm talking about, as you were. Yeah, <laughs> that's what determined the 2021 championship, and could potentially, if this gets, if this goes the way it's going, and McLaren are, you know, the fastest car every weekend. Yeah. That that just saying, if Lando loses by less than seven points, you know exactly why. That's all I'm saying. Exactly, absolutely right. Um, but yeah, Lando, for, he shouldn't have be put in that position whatsoever, but he should have just he should have just gone for it, especially if he was six seconds down the road. Um I was pissed off on the watch on because I wanted Oscar to win. 
Um, but no, realistically, Lando should just I get think, it going. I think a lot of people, I think a lot of people wanted Oscar to win, but Lando had a point of you know if if you want me to let him pass, he needs to catch me up. And he, he literally him. like almost stopped on the main straight mm. to let him through. Yeah, exactly. Um, but again, that's what oh, I mean. Just... Because they if if they pitted Oscar first, then that wouldn't have happened. There wouldn't be any lap traffic issue yeah, holding and... them up. Well, they would be, but you know. Different also, stories. just McLaren. McLaren's reasoning for everything they said was just rubbish this weekend. <laughs> oh, we pitted Lando because we're, whole, we're 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 covering the the Lewis undercut. Lewis was fifteen <laughs> seconds behind you. What do you mean you're covering on the cut? It was nowhere near you. Oh my God. You just did it. Well, we have no idea why they did it. But when oh, that when we were watching along, I said this is just not going to end well. And, uh, and it yeah. did. <laughs> but anyway, they still won. They still won. Still Oscar's won now two. won. The, uh, they still won. Yeah, one two. Oscar's now won. My only beef is that Lando kind of seems like he's up himself a bit now. And no offense to you, Lando, but you've only you've won the exact same amount of races as Oscar now. Well, technically, Oscar's won more if you include the sprint race. We yeah, we did. We did mm. say this. Yeah, he won the sprint um, race. So so like yeah, it's not a good look and. Look, obviously they haven't been successful for a while, so they probably don't know how to deal with this very often. And the way you deal with it on Sunday, don't do that again. Exactly. Um, I just want to go just through some questions here. You're the right thing. Uh, Bryce, yes. he says, and McLaren also said, remember all the Sunday meetings we have together? Because oh. um, apparently that Sunday morning, they actually planned that out. If they were to put, if, if there were a situation where Oscar was leading from turn one or something, uh, and they were put in that position, Lando would give the position back and then vice versa. So that was just cheeky blackmailing from them. Uh, I think it'll be a while before Lando gets his next win. Yeah, well, he he seems to not be getting it. Who knows? Spa. I would love to see him win Spa, um, given how much space they mm. have at the moment. Um, McLaren are acting like underdogs when they aren't. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you would think they were, given how right. crap they've been this hybrid era. Um, and Lidsville here, Lando seems very childish. This is why I want now, to say the childish this. award of the week. The childish award of the week does not go to Lando. No, it goes to our next segment, Max Verstappen. Holy hell, what a baby. <laughs> oh my God. Like, really? I've never heard someone talk so rubbish. Well, besides the McLaren <laughs> engineers. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think they actually take the uh, the take for the most childish people. But uh, I can I just say hats mm. off to I think John Perro is how you pronounce his name. Uh, Max is engineer. Oh, GP. For just basically telling, yeah, for basically telling Max to just shut up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Literally, he did what the whole world wanted us to wanted to do <laughs> at that point in time. Oh, it's just like just, just drive the car, just just drive. Yeah, definitely. His strategy wasn't even that bad. No, he, if he didn't screw up. He would have finished third. He would have gotten on the podium if it wasn't for that dumbass mistake he did, driving into Lewis Hamilton. Um, that was just embarrassing. Like, because I we both we, YouTube. There you go. Go. If you're watching on YouTube, you would have seen Alex's reaction. Um. Like, oh yeah, he went in way too deep, way too early, and that's why he locked up. Um, and apparently, because um, they were actually called to the stewards, because Verstappen actually summoned him. He actually filed something. I'm surprised he didn't get a post rate. Apparently, no, well, it was deemed as of a racing incident. Um, apparently, so. But thing, it, that was a weird crash. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> when I read that. I thought it meant build tough, like the Ford logo or the Ford. Uh... Yeah. Oh, you know, they said Ford build tough in America. Well, true. How that car was not damaged on the way down or even the way up, to be honest. That was unbelievable. Both of them too. Like both Lewis and Max should not have finished that race after that contact if it was like any other crash in Formula 1. Mm. But somehow they both got through it. I don't know how. And um, yeah, yeah, that was live another bizarre. Day. That was absolutely bizarre. It's like the it's like a reverse version of Valencia back when Mark Webber he he went that way, Max went that way. 
Um, yeah. Really, so yeah, that was really shocking. In fact, it landed on the floor, like landed on the ground, really hard too. So the fact that there was no floor yeah, damage, yeah, anything, like was unreal. Um, one thing, yeah, I'm just laughing here, at Bryce. Um, YouTube won't see Alex's reaction because of the copyright. We won't talk about that. Um, but I do have it on TikTok, so I will make it appear. Um, but uh, oh, okay. one thing I want to talk about Red Bull, if you have seen our TikTok, and we spoke about it briefly on the LTM show, um, is the potential, uh, I don't know if it's a rumor or it's confirmed, but according to the Spanish commentator uh, for the F1, uh, apparently the FIA forced or told Red Bull to remove certain parts. Now, apparently it could well and truly be the front wing. I don't know. Um but uh, it might be the suspension this week. <laughs> probably, yeah. But uh, that could be explain their lack of pace this weekend. Um, yeah. So if you didn't know, basically the moral of the story, moral of the story is that they have been reported to be using illegal parts over the last couple of rounds, and that this week they got told not to by the FIA, and that could explain why they've been slow. Not even this week, though. Even kind of. Uh, Silverstone, yeah, Silverstone too. Yeah, Silverstone from then on has been the, the track that they've struggled at. So who knows? Um, obviously, we're wondering how the Spanish, I don't know if the guy got fired or not. <laughs> I'm telling this, but um, we'll find out. Uh, well, he was told by two know, teams, but, um, so it wasn't his. He's just relaying the information. Um, yeah, well, whether or not that information was meant to come out or not, who knows, but... Um, Anyway, I think we should move on from the angry people and talk to, about someone who's a bit more chilled. Um, well, I don't know, but Lewis Hamilton, he was he was all right. He 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 was quite happy chappy this weekend. He actually got two hundred podiums now in total. True, but I think what's more important is his defensive driving. Holy cow! He kept <laughs> Mac behind him the whole race. Yeah, exactly. Um, so which made him more yeah. angry too, he, by the way. Which was more funny. Exactly. Um, yeah, Lewis just had a race. Uh, yeah, very, you could tell, that, you know, his experience definitely yeah, shone. Yeah, absolutely. It was like when Alonso was doing it to him, I think last year actually, um, to the old blokes uh, defending like mad. So, um, yeah, nothing really to say about Lewis. Obviously, had a podium when he probably didn't deserve one on, on pace, but, you know, here we are. He did very well to um, get to the third. Very well. Yeah, no, it did, but like you know, qualifying pace, there wasn't oh, no, much there. Um, but uh, yes, yeah, skill prevailed, and on the podium again, two races in a row, and then fourth place, Charles Leclerc. We haven't seen, well, actually, we haven't seen Charles Leclerc since like lap ten of the Spanish, yeah, sorry, Silverstone Grand Prix because well, he was, it was on a lap down from dry. lap ten onwards. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm happy for Charles, especially when Max had that issue because he got in front of him again. And, um, Ahead of his teammate yeah, as well. Uh, yeah, very true. Charles finally showing that, you know, he's still there, mm. I guess. Ever since Monaco would be like, where is he? There um, is. Yeah. Now there he is, uh, back, in, back in form, P4, not too bad. Um, yeah, the, we'll obviously talk about Max already. Mm. He was fifth in the end after that collision with Lewis. Um, Carlos Sainz, um, sixth place, the man with no yeah. seat. Um, he probably had the most boring race, I think, out of everyone. I don't remember seeing He had a battle was... with... Uh, he had the battle with... Wasn't it Leclerc? Probably. A little bit? I don't remember anything about... Sorry. Yeah, no, nothing really. I think everyone's over him until... Yeah, I think everyone's over his... Uh, over him until... He signs with someone. Um, but, um, yeah, whenever that day will be, I'm assuming it's in the summer break. Has Where do you reckon joy. he'll end up? Because I know you guys made that Silly Season video, which is up on YouTube, by the way, um, about it. We did. Well, I think his options are getting slimmer. They're running it. He's running out of time. Honestly. I mean, no one's going to sign anyone until he makes his decision because he is the number one candidate hmm. uh, as a free agent. Well, he's in his prime. However... Though. However, like Mercedes, no. That'll be either Kim Antonelli or someone just to get through 2025. It could be Bottas. Maybe not. I don't know. Who knows? 
Mercedes, if it's not Antonelli, I have literally no idea who it could be. If it's, not, no if it's not Kimi, then I can sort of see um, Carlos going there. Or he could well yeah, think... end up at Red Bull. Who knows? Oh, God, no. Please, no more Red Bull drivers. I'm sick of talking about them. Seriously. Well, that's what started the whole silly season. That's what started the whole season. No, no, sorry. Hamilton started the whole silly season. But... Yeah, I'm so sick of talking about Red Bull seats. <laughs> um, well, the next driver's next anyway. There you go. But, um, We're back to yeah, I think I think... I think Bryce is calling it. It is. I think it's going to be Audi. Yeah. Well, kick Audi. Um, or I think even Williams. I don't know why I think Williams, but I just think it's good. Well, Bryce here. If he goes it's... to Alpine, it's literally the stupidest thing I've <laughs> Well, I hope to see either Mick or, or Jack Doohan to go to Alpine personally. Um, I feel like yeah, it has, I two, really hope it is one of those two. I would prefer Jack because like, you know, it was cool to have three Aussies. But Bryce here, Ocon to Merck. Obviously, yeah, he's got the he's he was a reserve driver and he's got the link with Toto. I don't want him. I don't want Ocon anywhere near that seat personally. I don't want Ocon in Formula One, let alone in Mercedes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't even well, want him. I in think hats. actually, <laughs> no, literally, um, I think. Honestly, I actually think that Jack is going to get the Alpine seat if Carlos, for some reason, doesn't go there or, you know, doesn't yeah. consider it. And then I actually think that potentially Mick Schumacher could be the Mercedes seat. Well, he is their he's res- their reserve yeah, driver. Yeah, that's a good point. And he, he is there he both because he, he, races for, he races for Alpine and WEC. Yeah, did you point – you pointed that out um, in qualifying. Like, Mick was there. With Toto, it was yeah, uh, in and the then race, Sunday Kimi it was Kimi was after he won the feature. Um, so yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> um, Bryce I here, I, no, I, I don't I want to on an F1 either. Yeah, cool, cool, mate. <laughs> no, no one does. Um, especially Pierre Gasly. Um, yeah, well, <laughs> and Sergio Perez, who by the way, we may as well just get out of the way. He finished seventh from, but to be fair, he did start sixteenth, so it wasn't that bad. But obviously, qualifying ruined his weekend and potentially his career. That yeah, that could have been <laughs> it. But um, who knows what happens to him at Spa? I just hope for one, one more, one more crash at Spa. I think he can just round it off. Eight Look, in a row. If he crashes in qualifying, get to, if he doesn't make it into Q three, he can kiss his seat goodbye. All right. I think they may as well put Liam Lawson in for Sunday. To be honest. <laughs> maybe put maybe put um, Ricardo um, in for quali and then uh, well Sergio in practice. Ricardo Quali and then Lawson in the race. There you go. Just give everyone a chance. And every pit stop, they actually do driver um, changes. Yeah, look. I am kind of sick of talking about Red Bull just because they're re-signing Sergio Perez was the stupidest thing he could have done. And it's not working and he's rubbish and he shouldn't have been for the line. And put either Ricardo or Lawson in the seat. I just don't just do it. I just well, thumb a break. Well let's move on from the Red Bull. Before we get into George, uh, Bryce, just saying Oscar is still the only driver to finish every lap, which is an incredible record still. Still um, true. Very still true. Yeah. So that's fantastic um, to see. He's do- he's doing very well anyway. Um, besides the whole drama, he's doing very, very well. Uh, George Russell, P8. Definitely not where they were meant to be this weekend, but he's also someone who drove up the field, did really well. I'm pretty sure he started um, about... Same place uh, Sergio did because he didn't even make it out of Q one. Um, no, because he he ran out of fuel on the last lap for Quali, which was really unfair. That was weird. Yeah, it was very bizarre. Not good. Um, so he deserved a. The car was decent. He just couldn't get up there. Uh, next up, Yuki Sonoda in P nine. Um, after that massive crash in uh, qualifying. Um, to bring it home in the points that was now. A big crash. That was bizarre. Um. It's just really I haven't ever seen a I haven't seen a car crash there before. No, it was really strange. It was just un- under here, hit the curb, and then almost jumped the fence. Yeah. Um. Um. So yeah, interesting. But uh, he had a very quiet race, and he was on the correct strategy. Might yeah. Add. Um. Unlike someone else. Yeah, we'll hold on to that in a minute. Let's quickly go to the ones yeah. between them, though. The two Aston Martins, oh, Lance God. Stroll. Uh, more angry drivers, by the way. More idiots. More idiots. More <laughs> so, angry drivers. Lance Stroll and Fernando Alonso, 10th and 11th, right? 
Um, but before we do that, let's have a quick look here. Did you see the IndyCar drive on the fence? Yeah, we did, mate. Um, we've actually uploaded a segment from the LTM show up to YouTube. If you want to check that out after this, you're more than welcome to. Um, that was pretty wild, i got to say. Um, but oh, so what happened with the Astons is basically Alonso was told to let Stroll through to, to chase Yuki Tsunoda down. Unfortunately, it didn't work out for Lance, but uh, he refused to give the position back to Alonso. Uh, and what he what he heard was you can pass Fernando, hmm. attempt to attack Yuki, and just stay in tent. Exactly, and call it a day because my That's name what is he strong. heard. My dad. That's owns what the he car. heard. My dad owns the team. <laughs> uh, I can do whatever I want. Exactly. He basically just said, "World champion." Psh. He's not quick. Yeah, no. So no. Fernando was very, very pissed off um, when he hopped, when uh, at the end of that race. Um, but uh, another driver pissed off, Daniel Ricciardo. He was <laughs> robbed, mate. He was robbed from yet again. RB has screwed him over, um, and he was. He actually, this is the first time I've seen him pissed off over it, too, like this level. Let's do it, no. <laughs> Um, he's he's never going to mate. Um, he's qualified pole. He did do that in Turkey, in that rain wrapped weekend. That was weird. Apart from that, no, I it. never wanted to see him in a race. We got that yeah. podium at Baku too. That's close, but that's it. True. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's all Lance yeah. is going to do. Um, but oh my god, from getting Q like topping Q one and and uh, qualifying, Daniel Ricciardo. The same session as Sergio Perez crashes. That was poetry. Um, this is why this is why I'm not opposed to Daniel leaving Red Bull if he gets screwed. Just go to just speak. No, no, I don't know, man. It it bothered me because yeah, he outqualified Yuki. He outqualified Sergio Perez, and still finished after the points. But they could have easily not. got double points this weekend. They easily could have if they didn't. Yeah, easy. Strategy. Easy, like he should have. He could have even finished seventh. That's how high up he was because well, they... Perez and Russell weren't in the top ten in the race uh, in qualifying. So he pitted twice before Yuki even did his first stop, which is bonkers. it was such a weird pit. It was so yeah, you're right. It was so weird. The three stop race, I think, or was it two and it then a very three, lengthy th- two? Pretty sure it's three. Three. Um, it was just that's just not it was just weird, man. And he was just also so weird. the first driver to be lapped down as well. Um, just a side note. But uh, no, definitely not where he belongs, and I reckon he's still is safe in Formula One for next year, I reckon. Um based off his Yeah, I think he is too, but I it's results like this that aren't his fault yeah. that will determine whether or not he's in that red ball or not. Exactly. And it's happened numerous times. Because no, no offense, no offense to Daniel, but in terms of results, Yuki deserves to be in that Red Bull, yeah, hundred percent, even ahead of Liam Lawson. But obviously, you know the way he is is the way he is, Yuki. So we'll never know. But um, I don't know, man. Like I said, I don't talk about Red Bull anymore. I'm so sick of it. <laughs> well, it's just you'll be happy to once, know that once cars <laughs> over. Thank God, I know. Once, um, once Spa is finished, and pray to God that Perez is out of Formula One, um, we can move on with our lives. Well, the funny thing is, after Spa, the next race is the Dutch Grand Prix, Max's race. Imagine him Which I hope Lando win. win. That'll be that'll be poetic. Um, can someone not? Because he Max has won every race now, hasn't he? Since the return of the Dutch Grand Prix. Think I'm pretty sure he's won all three of them. So, yeah, yeah, no, I think I think yeah, I heard he's something he's about that. He's won all three. We won last year. Yeah. Um, but let's uh, no more Red Bull chat for tonight. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's right. move on to number thirteen, Nico Hulkenberg for Haas. Um, yeah, that's about it, really. Uh, then we got Albon in fourteenth <laughs> there for Williams with Kevin Magnussen, the man who has announced that he'll be leaving the team um, this weekend. Uh, who knows? I'm curious to see if he can get a race ban before he leaves the season. Because <laughs> he's really imagine being the right. 
could you imagine being the driver who gets possibly replaced by Esteban Ocon? Do you know what? I, I That's feel, not good for the resume. I really feel bad for Oli Behrman. His first full year in Formula 1 and his teammate has to be Esteban Ocon. And he's going to get taken out. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. I hope he's got his plane license because he's going to be flying quite a lot if his teammate rams into him. <laughs> Um, by the way, Bryce just wants to confirm that he has Max has indeed won every Dutch Grand Prix so far. Actually, no, hang on. To be fair, I think Oli Bam just smashed next to Manoff. Just to stop just, him from doing it. Just out-qualify him and be nowhere near him. Oh, I thought you meant literally smash. <laughs> no. No, but I, yeah, no, I absolutely agree. Well, he finished seventh. He's still that ahead car. of him in the points. Probably. Yeah. He finished seventh in that... Um, yeah, he is. <laughs> He's still 14th. He's, he is, yeah. Fantastic. No, He's three I, points in front of him. I reckon he will do very well in that Haas next year. Um, I reckon if that Haas is decent enough to get points, he can well and truly be in there. Ocon, no. Although he's saying that the Agreed. Alpines have been doing well in terms of po- when they get points, they get points. They did, certainly Also, does anyone time. know what happened to Pierre? Does anyone know what happened to Pierre Gasly? All I know is he was told to retire the car. That's about it. Um, if you want to oh, talk about the others, I'll see yeah. if I can find something out about them. Um, anyway, um, speaking of disappointment, I thought this would have been their point race, but it wasn't. Uh, Valtteri Bottas, 16th. It's like he doesn't ever want to go forward. <laughs> like, seriously, it's just so... I think he could even qualify pole and finish outside the points. That's how bad their race car is. Um, seriously, <laughs> I look. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Bottas is just there because he's employed. Yeah. That's the only. He's just got a job. He's like us. We just go to work. We come home. That's it. He doesn't care. Um. Yeah. Speaking, of, actually, I must admit, seventeenth place was Logan Sargent, and he actually did good in qualifying, to the point where I actually thought he was going to be in the top ten. Yeah, he, he did quite um, quite well considering. Yeah, I mean, oh, did we skip Alex Albon? No, no, he was a bit further up. Um, I mentioned him before we mentioned Kevin Magnussen. Oh, um, but by the good. way, according to um, Alpine, they yep. retired it due to a suspected hydro hydraulic leak. So there you go. Sure. So, also, a brain leak. But it could. Um, be- <laughs> uh, <laughs> Love that. Um, <laughs> Shannon Hagel. Well, uh, what does up next car, year? Yeah. Uh, Bryce, by the way, I think this is what actually happened. Gasly just had enough of driving for the day. He just called it quits. Yeah, well, to be fair, I wouldn't want to drive that. Either. Exactly. Uh, um, yeah, Lidsville. Um, where would Bottas end up next year? Uh, what do you reckon, Alex? You reckon he'll be in Formula 1? You reckon he'll be at Williams, like he's highly poised to be at? It all really depends on where Carlos is ending up. It's Williams or a pro cyclist, either one. He should jump in a supercar. I would like that. Good. I would love him in Australia. I, I wouldn't mind that. Well, he's already driven a um, supercar, so. Sure, he is. Logan Sargent, 17th. Esteban Ocon, 18th. Yeah. And then Joe Gwen, you were 19th. And uh, obviously, like we said, yeah. Gasly just didn't. Just called it quits. Um, Just but didn't uh, want to be there. let's run through the championship standings. Um, so so far, yes, it is, probably the most. is there any move ups that we need to look at for? Um, oh, good question. I don't think so. Uh, question Shannon I mean, says, my wouldn't you guys trusty... just show up too to get the money as well? Yeah, no, we definitely would. Look, I wouldn't mind being lost in Formula One every week and getting paid for paid it. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> That's exactly right. Yeah, no, I agree. But uh, from the TV, that is exactly what's happening. Well, Where Bryce, if Bottas does end up on the beach in SA with his girlfriend, then he can he can you know what he you know what he's going to be doing when he leaves Formula One? He's going to be LTM's new co-host. There you go. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't that be legendary? Imagine that. Where's the thing? I don't know where you're. I don't have the. Uh, sorry. Fantastic. Well, I'm I, don't, gonna... I don't have the. Uh, okay. But I'm pretty sure they haven't changed. All right. So let's have a quick look at the championship standings as a post Hungarian Grand Prix, which is round 16, I believe, or 13. I think that's what we said. 
Um, they don't tend to tell you, but that's okay. Uh, Max Verstappen. Hang on, I'll do it. Okay, while you do that, let me know. Max Verstappen, P1, Lando, P2, uh, Leclerc in third, Sainz in fourth, Piastri in fifth, with Hamilton sixth, Perez still in seventh. Now, keep in mind, his um, agreement was that he had to be in fifth or higher to keep that seat. Bryce, is that confirmed? No, we can't tell you anything now. Um, it could be. You have to ask Valtteri. Uh, P8 is George Russell. Then we've got Alonso in ninth. And then Lance Stroll. And then we go through the rest of the grid. We've got Hulkenberg, Sonoda, and Ricardo. I think they're about 10-odd point, 11 points um, gap between each other. And we've got Oli Behrman um, tying with Pierre Gasly. Uh, and then we've got Kevin Magnussen, Albon, Esteban Ocon, Joe New, Logan Sargent, and our new LTM co-host, Valtteri Bottas, in 21st. I think the only change was Lewis has jumped Perez, didn't he? Because only one point apart, and Lewis. Yeah, you know what? You're probably right. Yeah, I think that's the only move. Well, that win from Silverstone win would have and Nico even. My point. So I think that he's in front of him because of that. Uh, And uh, with that being said, let's have a quick look at the constructors. So we've got Red Bull still leading the way, but the question is, how long? um, Given how they're only. I've written down all the differences. They're only 51 points behind. So it's catching up. If, if Red Bull keep up this, it's and close. if McLaren keep up this, then we, it's going to be very close. And you saw that meme I yeah, said. McLaren yeah. will be like, yeah. <laughs> McLaren would be like, please, please keep your contract, Sergio. Um, yeah, okay. anyway. But uh, <laughs> yeah, they're 51 points in front of McLaren. They're 67 points in front of Ferrari. So that gap's even getting smaller. Um, Mercedes are 148 behind Red Bull. Aston Martin is the big gap here. Uh, Just a little 241 big. points to 69 points. Yeah. The gap between um, Red Bull and Aston Martin is 320 points. Uh, RB is on 33 points, Haas 27, Alpine 8 with 9 points, Williams with 4 points, and Sauber still yet, and I don't think they will score a point. Has there been a team, was there a team last year that didn't get a single point? Let's have a look. Let me have a look. Um, no. Wasn't that Haas or the worst no, team? they got 12 points. 22, Williams got 8 points. I'm just looking at whoever. Okay, so Haas in 2021. No Got zero points in twenty twenty one. So it's been three years. It's been three, three years since, since the, the team has got a zero, uh, and then Williams in twenty twenty. Well, so, a new one here. There you go, and it's going to be very interesting now. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think they're going to get one. I don't really see that happening. Um, Lidsville, haha, Behrman will score more points than Sargent this year. Yeah, that's highly likely. Um, you can bet money on that. Uh, Adrian Newey just took a part off the Red Bull to watch some great. <laughs> Some great racing. I think he did. Uh, he can keep doing it yeah, if he me. wants. Maybe he's going to join McLaren. Maybe it's confirmed. Now, apparently he might be going to Aston even. Um, it's starting to look less likely that he'll go to Ferrari. Um, That's so sad. Yeah, I know. It's a real shame. I think it is going to be Aston Martin. I don't think McLaren need him, to be honest. <laughs> no, McLaren are um, doing very well at the moment. Yeah, but um, look, Lawrence Stroll is just going to get his checkbook out and just do one of these ones. And um, I think that'll that'll be enough. <laughs> I wonder if that's the case, though. I am curious to see if there will be a difference at Aston. Then, uh, um, Perhaps you, you'd want to think so. Yeah, but I mean, um, like with Lance driving that, is it? Say is Lance, will Lance be safe enough to drive that car? Will you be able to well, trust him in that car? Let's be honest. Let's be honest, though. Adrian Newey can't work for another team until next year. Yeah, so, so we'll car. whatever, what it, yeah, whatever team he's going to, he's not going to make an impact next year. It's the year after that you got to worry about. Yeah, and I think I think Aston Martin are about to finish their new build of their new factory or whatever, or they would just have it already. That was very soon to now. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's see. I, I think you're going to ask him, like, just based off money. I can see that. 
it's it's starting to look like that anyway. But it'll be very interesting. I'm actually excited to see if Lonzo, if that helps Alonso gets back up there again. Who knows? But uh, any final thoughts, Alex, before we wrap up tonight's Formula One podcast? No, just bring on Spa, bring on Sergio Perez leading. Well said, mate. Well said. Well, we only have to wait. Let um, what five or four days? Less than a week till the Spanish. Uh, I keep saying Spanish. The Belgium Grand Prix. Um, which is going to be very exciting. The final one before the summer break starts. Um, so, and we've got a, mat- a very quiet week in terms of motorsport as well, um, with only F1 really happening. It's just F1. Exactly. Yeah. So there you go. <laughs> um, well, I guess the Olympics starting now, so that does make a bit more sense as I think of it. Sure. But, uh, yeah, thanks everyone who's tuned in for our podcast tonight, whether you've been watching live or Spotify you. and YouTube. TikTok stay around for a little bit after as the pod, of course, like always. Um, and, uh, yeah, if, by the way, if you guys don't know yet, we've, uh, officially released our official discord community hub, as well as our Facebook community hub, which is a Facebook group. Uh, those links will be in the description below, which you can easily access and then join. There's a place where everyone can just hang out and chat, uh, and post and share whatever the heck they want as long as it's appropriate. It's also where you catch all new LTM news of, because we've got some announcements coming along the way in the near future. Very exciting, but, uh, that's all from us. 